Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial from Premier Repos. Today I'm going to show you how to add a button to your sales layout. So we'll log ourselves in. We're going to go to the sales layout system here. Okay, so this is the layout I want to play around with. So how do I add a button to here? So there's a quick way, a few ways of doing it. So what we can do, we can click, literally click on photo button, um, select the button like so, boom, and there you have it. So there's one button there effectively. Obviously you can change it all around as well, so you make different sizes or what have you. Or if you wanted to, you can actually use the section down here to edit the size. So if I wanted to change that to, say, 190, there we go. So I can do it that way. Uh, so that is a nice, quick, easy way to make a button. You can obviously, if you wanted to make this a, uh, a button that goes into a different menu system, you can type in the display text right here. So if I type in menu one, enter, and there you have it. So there's my new button, menu one. Uh, if I wanted to make a, uh, a menu inside that, all I need to do is double click inside, and then I'm in, into a new page. If I throw another button there like so. I can then obviously then put what I need on that one there like so. So what I'll do is I shall go back and then if I double click on that one, there you go, there's my button there. So that's basically how to make a quick little button there. You can also do some multiple buttons as well, for example, like what I could do, I can literally press Control C and Control V and that copies it, including the display name as well. So I can do that. Or I can literally right click it, click copy and paste. So there's another way of doing it. And then obviously I can highlight all three, copy and paste, like so. So there's a nice quick way of doing it. And if I wanted to create a quick little back button as well, all I need to do is click on there like so. And after this particular one, my back button would be behind here because I've obviously made a few changes to this one like so. So there's my back button right there. So if I wanted to, for example, go in here, create back button, it would pop up there basically. Okay, so to go back on there. Uh, obviously, there's also another way of doing it. You can also do draw multiple as well. So, for example, if I just highlight all these, I can now delete them. They're all gone. Uh, I click on draw multiple, so it's highlighted. And then click on photo button and click another one. How many do I want to add? I want to add, say, four. Press accept. Boom, and there's big four big buttons there, which then I can obviously then highlight and then obviously resize and get into just the way I want it basically. So you just have a little play around of it and get it the way you, where you want to get it basically. Uh, if I want to change the color of this button, all you need to do is click on there and click that one and then changes the color for you. Same with the solid colors as well. So I can do that and make that a solid color or I could make it a shaded color as well. So if I wanted to make that one go a bit, a bit funky and go for that, I can do a completely shaded button there as well. So there you go. There's how to make a little quick button. There you go. Do hope that's been useful. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Check us out next time. See you now.